Welcome to this video tutorial covering full dentures with InLab Software 20, along with case administration and the scanning workflow. In this video, we show how to create digital dentures with different manufacturing options and the scanning with INEOS X5. Start by creating a new case and enter the dentist and patient data. In the administration phase, select Dentures in the first column of the Indications menu. In the second column, choose Individual Teeth. As soon as you click on the dental chart, a denture case is automatically created in the upper and lower jaws. You now have the option to individually select which second molars should be omitted or kept. For this, you can choose between Delete Single, Delete All, and Delete Antagonist. These molars can be added back again if desired. The created denture is displayed in the case details as an upper jaw object and a lower jaw object. Each object consists of two sub-objects, a tooth arch and denture base. Specify the machine, material manufacturer, and processing mode for the denture. Mandatory entries are marked with a blue bar. For a denture with individual teeth, the connectors between the teeth are automatically placed. Connectors can be deleted and added by left-clicking and right-clicking, respectively, in the dental chart. As soon as the tooth arch is separated by removing connectors, the resulting arch segments are listed as individual elements in the case details. You can change the material here once again. If needed, you can add a monolithic try-in for the case. In the case details, specify once again the machine, manufacturer, and processing mode for the try-in. If you want to manufacture your denture with prefabricated denture teeth, select this in the Indications menu. Teeth can be deleted or added here as well. The created denture is displayed as an upper jaw object and a lower jaw object in the case details. Each object consists of the denture teeth and denture base sub-objects. Next, you specify the details for the denture and select the shape and mold for the anterior and posterior teeth. If you hover the mouse over a mold selection, a detailed preview image is displayed. Add a monolithic try-in if needed. Once you complete the administration phase, continue with the scan phase. If a full denture was selected in the administration phase, then upper jaw, lower jaw, and bite registration are automatically displayed in the new object list on the left side of the screen. It is possible to add other objects to import the scan as an STL file or to change the capture mode if needed. Once the upper jaw has been positioned correctly in the scanner, as indicated in the help text and information picture, the scan can be started by clicking the green scan button. Alternatively, the upper and lower jaws could also be scanned from an impression. The unique 5-axis scan technology of INEOS X5 makes it ideally suited for capturing all areas. Check the result, close gaps where necessary via double-click capture, or edit the model with available tools so that you have an optimal base for the later denture design. Let the Step menu guide you through the recommended scan workflow and then continue with a scan of the lower jaw.
If help lines were drawn on the stone model, these will also be captured and can be later displayed using the Show Marks feature in the Analysis tool. A special holder is used for digitalization of the byte registration. A reusable adhesive putty such as BlueTac is recommended to fix the byte registration onto the holder. To obtain a complete and flawless scan, the byte registration should be sprayed with a scan spray such as OptiSpray. Follow the information pictures and notes on the screen and place the holder with byte registration into the INEOS X5. Start the scan process. The new and unique scanning technology not only allows an exact correlation of the upper jaw and lower jaw using the byte registration, but also forms the optimal base for the required model analysis and subsequent design. The scanned in byte registration is used later for orientation purposes and can contain important information such as the midline, smile line, and position of the canines. After successful correlation of the upper jaw and lower jaw with a byte registration, the scan phase is completed. Switch now to the model phase and start the preparations for the denture design.